Lost Tube. This is Jessica, the Sweetwater Stitcher, and I am back with another episode of Lost Tube for you guys today. Today is Tuesday, August 22nd, and I am glad to be back. We started school yesterday, me and my daughters, and we went to the first day. We had a great day, and then my daughter's fever came back yesterday, so I'm home today with her. And I figured I should go ahead and get a floss tube filmed. I've been trying to do it. It's been a little crazy with my son's birthday, then kids getting sick, going back to school and all the stuff. So I figured this would be a great day to get it in. I have all this stuff ready. I just needed to film it. So I have a lot to share with you today. And I hope that you guys all enjoyed the whip parade that I put out and I've enjoyed or I did enjoy going through all of them and seeing what I had and what I wanted to work on and as I mentioned before that is not all of my whips but I wanted to break it down to a manageable amount to to what I felt like I could get my hands on all of them some of them finished some of them I might just put a few more stitches in to move them forward. Um, and then I have another bag that I'm kind of putting new stuff in. And as I see someone working on something and I have it as a whip, I'll put it in that bag to work on um, next year, or I might still pick it up this year, depending on how I feel. But I've kind of been feeling like I want to work on the whips and I normally am wanting to start everything, which I still want to start things, but I've really been motivated to get to some of the whips and get some of those done. So the first one, <clears throat> or oh, before I get to the whips, um, I, so I, like I said, school started, I am stitching, but it's not as much because I'm pretty tired and I'm just having time at night, which is one I had before. Um, but I'm a lot more tired, so I'm not staying up as late. Um, but the stitching is calming and helps to relax me and is something for me to do at the end of the day. So I am very glad that I have stitching to do. I also, uh, not last weekend, but the weekend before, went to a one-day retreat at Brick City in Ocala, Florida. Um it's put on by the shop at a hotel and you can go to the store before, during, after, and it's just a sit and stitch and talk with people. So that was fun to get to see some friends and um, get some stitching done. And it was kind of like right before um, pre-planning started. So it was a good break. And I did get a few things from the store and I'll share those in my haul section. So I have one FFO. And this is World So Sweet by Sandy Spencer. And this is my finish. So I had, I don't know if I finished stitching it or not last time. I think I was still working on it in the whip parade. So I finished stitching this and I did change the colors to what I had in my stash, but they were similar. Like this was red and green and the same idea. I just picked colors I had. And this is on a piece, I think I said it was winter brew. It's actually a, the piece of fabric that came in my kit for American Welcome. And I used, oh no, not American Welcome. It came in the kit for um, This I Know by Plum Street. And I had the called for for that. So I just had this as a scrap. And it was something that was dyed by Michelle from Farm Girl Dry Goods. So I used that for this. And then this is a frame from Hobby Lobby and I stretched it and mounted it and put it in the frame. And I don't have this, uh, this is just what the back looks like. I need to put some paper on, but I didn't want to do that yet because I wanted to let it sit and make sure that I liked it in this frame, which from the response I've gotten, I like it and um, everyone else does too. So I will be keeping this in the frame. And I love that pattern so much. So hopefully she will come out with some more patterns. And you can find that pattern and I'll link it below. You can find it at threadmilkdesign.com. And I cannot remember what her, 
I'll put it right here what her company name is, Sandy's, but Sandy Spencer is her name and she's um, one of Lori's friends. And so she, that's how it's on the website and it's a PDF. So you can get it and download it and start right away. And it was really quick to stitch. Okay, then these are my whips. They're in no particular order. The first one is American Welcome. And when I showed it on the whip parade, I think I had a little bit more than this to do, but I was able to get it all the way to the point where I just have to fill in the water and do the back stitch. So I am working on filling in the water. I have picked up something else to work on also because I was filling in and it was kind of putting me to sleep and it was a little boring to me. So I do want to get this done, but I'm kind of doing it in between working on something else as well. And I also am considering if I don't have it done before Chantel's 141 design retreat, I will take it to the retreat and work on filling in the water. But for right now, I'm just doing it a few threads to try to get it some progress on it. But if you can see, let me put it up again. Some of this, like once I get over here, there is fill in, but there's like the words and stuff. So it's not a ton. It's just after you keep stitching blue over and over and across, it gets a little bit boring, in my opinion. Some people love it. Um, so I picked up another whip to work on for this week, and then I'll, I'll kind of work on both of them. But I really, really want to get this done. Um, so let's see. The next whip, and this is the one I picked up to work on for this week. So I started working on it um, Sunday night, and then I worked on it last night, and I'm going to work on it all week and see how far I can get. And I'm I don't know if I can get the whole thing done, but I think I can get a lot of it done if I don't get the whole thing finished. But this is um, Sally Spencer by Birds of a Feather, and this is out of print. You can find it on the secondary. But this is where I am. And these, again, these are called for looking, but they're not necessarily the called for. And this is on a 28 count. It's an R&R &R and I cannot remember what it's, I want to say it's creme brulee by R&R. &R. Um, but and I don't even know how I came upon this piece. <laughs> Somehow it was in my stash and I wanted it to be big. So that's why I decided to do it on 28 count. And honestly, it is quite the relaxing stitch because it's on such a big count. Um, it's really easy to see. So I have to fill in one more letter here and the border, and then there's some words here, and I have the things on the side and the top, and this will be done. So that's what I kind of think if I do it for the rest of the, if I work on it every night for the rest of the week, I think I might be able to get it finished. So that will be another one out of my whip parade finish. So um, World So Sweet was also for my whip parade. So if I can get this and American Welcome finished and that, that's three of the whips that are finished. So that will make me feel really good about getting um, some of the whips finished and I can get them on my wall because I started them because I love them and I want to get them done. Okay, so the next one, oh, this was one that I started at the retreat and it was after I, I've had this in my stash and I've wanted to start it. Sorry, I'm shaking the table many times and I just couldn't find the right colors to use. So what I decided to do and the pattern is, let me take it out of the thing. Penny Pumpkin by The Scarlet House. And I saw Liz from Antique Needleworkers. She finished hers or was working on hers and Carrie pulled hers out. And then Sarah from Handmade by Sarah W is working on it. So I figured, well, I might as well get it out while everyone else is working on it and maybe it will motivate me. So this is a piece of 36 count 
Philip by Grace Notes Fabric. So it's a green um, fabric. And I decided to start this at the Brick City One Day Retreat after I worked on another one I will show you. And so I was able to get half of the, uh, some of the border done. And these are my flosses. They're, again, some of the called for, some I substituted. But if I substituted, they're like similar to the called for colors. So I love this. I want to get back to it. It's a small. I think I can get it finished. So this was a new start I pulled out. Um, but it's a small. So I'm trying, and I'm not going to say never because I am going to do something for Stampler September. But I'm trying if I start something to start a small piece that I can really get finished and then try to work on the whips from my whip parade to get some of those completed. Okay, I have one more whip and then I have plans and haul. Yeah, just looking at my, oh, have one more downstairs. I will have to go get it and then I'll, I'll be back in a minute, but let me show you this one first. So this is one that I took to the retreat with me and I had um, pulled this whip out right after my whip parade to work on the um, getting the flowers done. So I worked on this for it's either four or five days working on the flowers and then I was working on filling the house in at the Brick City Retreat. And this is pretty far along. So I feel good about putting this away for now. And when I pull it back out, I think I will, the same like I'm doing with American Welcome, I think I'll work on it till it's finished. So I was able to, in three nights, work, um, get the flowers completely done. And I was able to fill in some more of the house. So I still need to finish the house. Oh, and I also got the, some, I have a little more weeping willow to do. And so then I have border things and then all of this right here, but that is all just letters. So if I, like I said, pull this back out again, whenever I feel like it, I can probably finish, keep working on it until it's finished. Um, how long, I'm not sure how long that will take, but I feel like I'm at a point where once it comes out again, it will be easy to get done. So I was happy about getting the flowers done and I'll show that up close. And they're just so, so pretty. So I was glad to get that done. And this is on the called for fabric, which is 36 count winter brew by R and R with all the called for floss. So there's um, no substitutions on that. Okay. And I will have to go. Let me go get my other whip and I'll be right back. I actually had two more in this bag I forgot about. So the first one is, and I will insert a picture here because I don't have the photo. This was the new release by Mrs. Flossy. I'll put a picture. Um, the Ribbon Thief. And let me show you the colors. Um, it's a fall piece and it's really, really pretty. These are the colors and this is where I got. I'm stitching this on, it's not very big. I am stitching it on a piece of 36 count heritage, I believe. And, oh, I'm sorry, Heartland. I picture this plus, which is the called for, and I am using pretty much the all the called for colors. Um, I just I started in the middle because my fabric it has enough um, space, but I wasn't. It's I think it's like maybe a might be two inches, maybe an inch and a half on the top and the bottom, but it'll be fine for me to frame. Um, but I just wanted to do a middle start. So like I said, I'll put a picture, or I will have put a picture. And um, I'm excited to get back to this. So this was a small um, fall piece. 
And I kind of feel like I've been going back and forth, like I've been in the mood for fall and then I wanted to work on more sampler and then I'm in the mood for fall. So I kind of think I'll just switch, but go back and forth um, between the two of those until it's time to move to Christmas, I guess. Um, oh, I'm, and I have a couple Halloween. I'll show you something I um, am thinking about starting. Um, the other whip I worked on, which I need to get this done for the pep rally retreat um, with Chantel and hands-on design is this is the retreat piece. So I was able to get two more lines done and I need to keep working on this every day or every couple days to get um, this finished. So I will have no problem getting it done. I just am slowly inching along. I know there's a lot of people I've seen who have finished theirs, um, but I'm on the slowly but surely track. So I know she's going to show us how to lace and I want to, to learn how to do that or see, um, try it. And so I will be sure to be getting that done. Okay, that's all of my whips. Now I wanted to show my haul. And then I'm going to talk about my plans that I have for Sampler September. And then I have the giveaway winners and I have um, a couple other giveaways. So let me put this behind me. Um, oh, my haul. I'm like, I already forget what I'm even talking about. Okay, so one thing, this is like kind of haul because I had them made. But I had bought the tea towels from... Hands Across the Sea Nicola that she had printed in samplers. And I had Faye Rigsby from Carolina Stitcher. She made them into project bags. So this is the first one. And I feel like this is my favorite because I love this blue house. So this is the first one. Then this was the um, Sarah Milthrop, I think. This is the tea towel that came in the red box from Nicola's birthday. So this is what the, uh, this one looks like. And then I also, this is another favorite just because I love this sampler. This is Anton Uvendel and this is this bag. So these came this past week. She was able to make them into project bags for me and I really appreciate that. And I will link her Instagram below if you have, I know she does finishing and she's finishing bags. I think she's busy right now, but you can reach out to her and she'll let you know. So that was part of my haul. Then I also received my kit from the Homespun Needlework Group. And this was, um, this is the exclusive for this month. It is going through August 29th. So if you're interested, I'll put the Facebook group below. You have to join the group and then you can get this. And I always forget to say this. If you're trying to join the group, make sure you answer the questions. So this is the um, chart. And then I got the Weeks Dye Works and it has a new color of linen from Needle and Flax. And it also came, it always comes with some other extra. This is a corner gauge. Um, from Shepherd's Needle. So this is one of my plans for Sampler September, but I'll talk about that in a minute. So that was a piece of haul. I also got this, which I saw this, somebody finished this and I loved it. And whoever, I, I'm blanking on the name. She changed, the letters are supposed to be black and she changed them to a dark navy blue and I'm going to do that for sure, but I love this. Um, pattern by Chessie and me, you and me, one, two, three. Okay, that's, let's see. I just have everything. I kept piling things on the table. This was my haul at, from the attic. I had placed an order and was waiting on a couple um, silks to come in for the order to come. So that finally came and I got the new Hands Across the Sea and, well, it's not really new now, but and Rathmel, I got the chart and the silk to go with it. And then this is some linen I had gotten from Color and Cotton. I think I'm gonna do it on this. This is Tumbleweed. 
So I don't, I'm thinking about saving this and doing this as my blessing sampler in January. Um, Cause I love the colors. It's not that big. It would be fun to work on monogamously. So I'm considering keeping that to the side. I also, I love this so much. This is Jane Johnson, 1842. So I got the chart and I got a piece of linen to go with this. And I need to get the DMC. And then I love this one as well. This is Catherington by Needlework Press. And I have linen and a blue floss instead of red to do this in. So I'm excited to get those at some point going. I don't, they're just kind of waiting right now. I also received my September Life is Just a Bowl kit from Pine Needles. So I, again, like I said, I'm putting all these in a bag and I'm thinking about starting these for 12 by 12 or doing some type of a monthly thing once I have all of them collected for the whole year. This was my, I'm in the, a couple color and cotton floss clubs. This is the all colors. These are the all colors clubs. Let me just take them out for you. So, so pretty and awesome for fall. Let's see. So I'm in the all colors 10 skeins. So if you get all 10 skeins, these are all the ones you got for this month for August. So this is the August colors. And then also I get the primitive and this is the primitive colors, which are again, perfect for fall. So I need to pull and kit some of this, kit some things up with these because I just, I keep getting them and then I forget because I end up using the call for. So I need to kit some things with that, but I love her floss so much. This was a, something I got at Brick City, and I am, I don't know if I'm going to do the whole, okay, here's the chart. This is the whole sampler, forever and ever, and I'm considering doing the whole thing, but there's also a chart on the back for just this part and not the alphabet, so I'm, I don't, I have it all kitted. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. But I would like to do this for myself because I stitched a um, brick house sampler and I gifted that to my mom, which this reminds me a lot of that. Um, so I would like to have, I don't want to stitch the same thing again, but I'd like to have something similar at my house. So I'm, I like this and I'm thinking of starting this on my anniversary, which is not till February. Um, and then putting my me and my husband's initials in it. So I have that ready. Then I am also in, um, there's lots of stickers on here. I'm also in the, uh, what's this called? Little Help From Our Friends Club with Silver Needle. <clears throat> and this is the club. And I just got this yesterday. So if you're in the club and you haven't got it, you might want to look away. Um, this is Be Kind by Chessie and Me. And this is this um, small piece. And then it came with some little cute, a bee and a ladybug to go in there. So in this, I don't even, <clears throat> I'm not sure what, um, I'm not sure what linen that is, but it's, I'm sure it's all the called for. I'll have to read and, and figure that out. Maybe Weeks Dye Works. It kind of looks like Tin Roof by Weeks Dye Works. All right, well, I'll have to figure that out later. Okay, so that was, oopsies, that was another piece of haul. And then a couple other things that came in since the last video. This was something I was waiting on for a while and it finally came in stock. 
This is a Stitcher's Name Tag by Lottie Da, and I've seen people with these, and I have wanted to do one, so I got this one. This is from Traditional Stitches in Canada, and I got the fabric and the floss. I might change the floss colors, though, um, but I want to, to do this. I don't know if I'll get it done before September because I kind of am liking what I've been working on, but I might be able to get that done. And then one day I got a message from Jen, who is from Stitchy Friends, and she said on Brenda Gervais' website, they have she has some of the Coming to America bag panels. So I was able to get a bag panel. So now I think I have all of the bag panels. I just need to make the bags. I also, she had P is for pumpkin. So I was able to get this too, which both of these have been out of stock for a long time. Um, they're probably out of stock now, but Brenda Gervais' website, the things go in and out of stock and you just have to kind of keep an eye on them. So I was able to get both of those things as well. And let's see. I think that is all. Okay, so let me talk about, let me pull this over here. Oh, before I talk about my plans, I did also, this is an FFO, and this is actually my small, for the smallest exchange at Chantel's retreat. So if you are going and you don't wanna see what I'm giving, then you can look away. But I wanted to go ahead and show it before I give it away um, so that I have record of, of it on my video. But this was, I forget what this is called. It's from the newest Blackbird book, Winds of Autumn. And this is my finish. This was my finished stitch. I used similar to the called for colors. I stitched it on 36 count. I think it's Mayflower by Fox and Rabbit. It was unmarked, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. And I made it into a needle book. So on the inside, so it has a little bow. On the inside, it has some needles and some wool. And then on the back, um, this French general fabric. But And it has rickrack on the side. So this is my small for the smalls exchange. And then I have some other little things I'm going to put with it. So if you are going and you saw and you're interested, hopefully you will be the recipient. But um, I just wanted to go ahead and show that on here. Um, because once I give it away, I won't have a, I won't, I'll take a picture, but I won't have um, the actual piece to show. So that is my smalls exchange. Okay. Oh, one more thing. I keep forgetting all this stuff I have. I Like I said, I have so much stuff on the table. So this was the box that we got from For the Retreat. And Chantel, I know, is going to sell these later. But this was my box. I painted it um, black. And then I stuck... It got a little, I was using spray paint and I don't know what was happening, but it got a little messed up. So ignore the sides, but I put some fabric in the bottom and then I just stuck some different things in here. I'm just going to leave it at my house probably, um, but I have like some little scissors, a jar, some um, wax, lotion. So, I mean, you can put anything in here. You could put, um, Kathy is going to design something to go on the top. I'll probably get a different box to put on the top, but you could put anything on the top. Um, so it's like a little wooden box that's similar to the jewelry, um, stitching cases. Okay. So I want to talk about my plans for, um, September, which is quickly approaching. So September is known for Sampler September or um, Sampler September Soiree. And one of them is for samplers and one of them is for reproduction samplers. So, and I don't remember which hashtag is for which. Um, 
but I am planning on starting four projects and I will start one each week and they're all going to be new starts. And so I'll probably intermixing with that. If I feel like it, I'll work on some other smalls. Um, but I really want to focus each week on getting a good chunk of the sampler done. So the first one is Merrily, Merrily, We Welcome Spring, which I shared was going to be my start for Lauren, the New Hampshire stitcher for her stitch along. And I'll put the hashtag right here. I also, if I can get it before mid-September, I have everything else ordered. I am going to start Dwelling Place by Teresa Kogut, which I will put a picture right here. It's one of her new releases, and I believe it's shipping the shops this week, so I should be able to have it. I absolutely love that sampler, and I keep trying to say I'm not going to start it, and I just finally gave in and said, I'm go Sampler September is coming. I'm going to start it for Sampler September. Um, I'm also going to work on um, this one, the Jane Thompson. This will be my third sampler. And then my fourth sampler is the new um, one from Scarlet House that is coming out this coming weekend at the Needlework Market, Scarlet Berries, that was previously a... Um, piece from summer school last year from the attic. So that will be my fourth piece. Something about the colors. I love uh, Tanya's style. Um, so it, I really want to do that piece. So I'm trying to still, I have some different linen ordered and I ordered the floss. So once the floss gets here, I will look through my linen and then I have some other pieces coming to see which linen I like for that. And I'm also still trying to figure out um, the color for the dwelling place. But Merrily, Merrily, We Welcome Spring. I have that with the linen and everything. And same for Jane Thompson. So that will be my four samplers. And then, like I said, I'll do some other smalls. So a couple smalls I have that are, some are started and some I just have are, I might work on the Ribbon Thief by Mrs. Flossy. I also, this is not it, pulled out, uh, this is a whip. Uh, I love fall most of all, so I could work on this. Oh, this was it. I found, I was in kind of a weird mood the other day and I wanted something bright, but then I wanted sampler and this and that and I don't even know what I ended up working on, but I found this and this was all kitted from last year. So I thought, well, this would be a fun small to work on too. So I have this to, to pull out um, also. Then I also have Penny Pumpkin and I have some other smalls that are in my whip bag that I might um, pull out to work on if I want something different besides the sampler for that week. But like I said, my main focus is I really wanna get the sampler. So before September, I would like to finish American Welcome, unless, if I don't get that done, I'll take it to the retreat to fill in. But I, if I can get that done, I wanna get it done. Um, put in the work on Sally Spencer. If I can get that, a fin get that finished, that would be wonderful. If not, I'll put it back in the whip basket, um, but I will have put stitches in, and so that's kind of my goal. Um, and let's see, that's just linen. So I think that's all for my plans and what's gonna happen, what I'm trying to work on um, from now until then. Okay, so now we are to haul. And I want to say thank you so much to everybody who entered the giveaway, um, not haul, giveaways. Um, from last video, which was number 54, so many great um, dinner ideas. If you are in looking for easy weeknight dinner ideas, go to episode 54 and look through the comments. And there's so many things on there. So from that, if you are a winner, you need to send me an email with your name and address 
to sweetwaterstitcher at gmail.com and I will get these in the mail to you. So the first one was Eli Eliza's Little Sampler and this will actually come from Stacy from Stacy Stitches and the winner is Martha Cook. Martha Cook, you are the winner. Congratulations. And the next one, which was the Stitching Bee, the winner is Deborah Quilts. Deborah Quilts. So if that is you, send me an email and I will get those out to you. So for this week's giveaway, um, I have three giveaways. And um, for the to enter, you need to be over 18, um, like and comment, like the video and comment. And then um, you do need to be a U.S. resident for now, um, just for the shipping ease. It's um, Or actually, uh, let me take that back. Number one is going to be a PDF, so anyone can enter for number one. Number two and three that I have, those need to be U.S. residents. So number one is open to anyone because it will be a PDF. Um, so for the question for this week is what is your favorite release coming out this fall? So it can either be something for the needlework market or there's a few designers who are not participating in needlework market, but they're having releases. So the one of those. So what is your favorite new release coming out? Um, in the next month or so. So for number one, this was a donation from or compliments of Mrs. Flossie, who is Amy. She has kindly donated one chart of your pick from her Etsy shop. So that is number one. So she has Ribbon Thief. She has um, a red sampler. I have um, Madeline Deleste also, or she has Madeline Deleste. I also have that. She has a small chart um, to go on the top of your stitching case. And I think that that's all right now. And I know she's working on more. So those are what you can choose from. You can go look at her Etsy shop um, to and purchase, or uh, one person will win a chart. And I believe if you are in, Outside of the U.S., she'll send you a PDF and um, also would be happy to send a paper if you live in the U.S. or a PDF as well. Um, so that's number one. Number two is Grateful, Thankful, Blessed by Brenda Gervais. This is number two. I have two copies of this, so this is one for a lucky winner. And number three is a piece of 32 count dirty chai from Grace Notes Fabric. And this is what this looks like. So this is number three. This is a fat quarter of dirty chai from Grace Notes Fabric. And it's like the perfect color to do some fall stitching on. So this is what, this is number three. So if you're interested in any of these, um, like I said, leave a comment, um, like the video. For these two, you need to be a U.S. resident. The number one can be anybody. Um, and I hope you enjoyed what you saw. Um, I hope everyone's off to a great new school year, new if people are going back from being off for summer or just kind of, I feel like August, even if you don't have kids in school, to me, it's kind of a start fresh um, time. So I hope everyone's able to stay cool. Also, I know we're still dealing with a lot of heat um, as are other places. So I hope you're getting lots of stitching time inside in the cool air of your house. Um, but until next time, I hope you guys have a great week or two, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.